Alrighty, we are back. And once again, we are here to expose the truth. Whilst the men who lack integrity, honor, and respect continue to push a fake narrative for their own gain. Now, just to be clear, I know that's not everyone. Some of you are relying on heavily edited photos or on screenshots where the optics purposely give you a false perspective. So since we are one of the only channels rooted in integrity, let's find out once and for all if the strike landed by Dubois was in fact an illegal low blow. If you want to thank me for this video, consider buying me a cheap coffee. Now, first things first, we need to take the footage, enhance it with the use of AI, ensure that we all recognize the precise moment of impact and the trajectory of the punch as it's being thrown. Before we get into this, the British Boxing Board of Control has been overseeing British professional boxing since 1929. According to them, and I quote, the following acts shall not be permitted during a contest, hitting below the belt. We can start from the moment Dubois throws the punch. Things to analyze here, the positioning of Usyk's belt line relative to his navel area, so his belly button. And at this frame, I think it's fair to assume his belly button is positioned here. Also pay attention to Dubois' distance, the angle the punch is being thrown, consider it's a hook, not a cross. And lastly, consider the exact moment of impact, as well as the direction the punch is taking as it approaches impact and lands. So if we stop the frame right here, this is the image that is being shared across the web to validate that this was in fact a low blow since the glove is clearly below the belt line. However, on further investigation, you can actually see that the punch has not landed. How do I know this? Pay attention to the shadow between Dubois' glove and Usyk's shorts. And most importantly, note that there is no indentation on Usyk's shorts. Now this might not make any sense to you at this point. However, if we watch the actual moment of impact, as you can see, Usyk's shorts are ruffled. The shadow is now hidden, validating the punch is connected. The shorts have also been pushed up from the punch, but even then, the punch has landed on the belt line and with the shorts moving upwards, they are even further above his navel area. Now we can take it one frame further because although the punch has landed on his shorts, the impact on Usyk's body has yet to be made. This is the only screenshot that matters. Now that you understand the trajectory of the punch, the angle of which it's landing, the fact that Uzik's shorts have been pushed upwards, pay attention to the positioning of Uzik's ribs. Now also consider the position of Dubois' hand within the glove, because it is his fist making the impact, not the large portion of padding. As Usik crumples to the floor, you can hear Timothy Bradley. I quote, that looks like it's right on the belt line. It was a devastatingly beautiful body shot from Dubois, which put Put Usyk to the canvas to where he remained there for over four minutes. Now just before I conclude, if you appreciate technical boxing breakdowns, do make sure you subscribe, like the video and share with those who you believe can refute my investigation. Shortly after this perfectly legal shot, the referee pulled Dubois in close and stated, look at me, look at me in such an undermining fashion whilst simultaneously catering to Usyk's needs. Try to empathize with Dubois what it felt like to fight two people in the ring, specifically knowing that he already won the fight. That's a lot of pressure and I think the clowns mocking him for not getting up from that knee need to put themselves in his shoes. Lastly, bias can get the better of all of us. But if you are not a man of integrity, then you are a detriment to society. I made a viral video proving that Ukrainian fighter Vasily Lomachenko beat Devin Haney and was robbed. And today I offer you a video proving that Dubois landed a perfectly legal shot and in turn was robbed based on Oleg Alexander Usyk's inability to stand back up after the 10 count. Subscribe, like and share.